<laughs> As I look at Meg, I can't help but reflect on the girl she was and the woman she has become. She is smart, beautiful, funny, hardworking, sometimes a little stubborn, and she never gives up. Joe, what can I say? <laughs> If I was a chick, I think I would marry you. <laughs> You're everything a father would want his daughter to marry. You're charismatic, funny, respectful to others. You're hardworking, and you're always the life of the party. I think you'll know what I'm talking about when you see Joe on the dance floor later this evening. Joe, I want to thank you for making Meg so happy. You are all the things that I hoped for for my sister and more, and I truly could not have handpicked a better person for her. Joe mentioned that he wanted me to meet someone special. I later met Meg, and it quickly became clear to me who Meg is and why Joe loves her. Joe, you are very lucky to have Meg. only 18 months old when Meg was born, so it's safe to say that I really don't remember a single day without her in my life. We grew up attached at the hip and did everything together. Although she was the younger sister, that did not stop her from bossing me around. And hey, I listened. Whether it was planning matching outfits or telling me that she was going to sleep in my bed with me for the 12th night in a row, whether I liked it or not, Meg would not take no for an answer. And that's definitely something that I've grown to love about her. Some people spend their whole lives looking for that one special person. Fortunately for Joe, it didn't take very long at all because he has always had me. I meant Meg, I forgot the G. In high school, Joe was seen as a leader and someone to look up to amongst all of his peers. Still to this day, his friends call him Jefe, which means boss in Spanish. She's always been Papa Bear to Meg, and she's always been Baby Bear to me, and that will never change. Meg, I just want to tell you, you're right where you need to be, you have endless possibilities, and you're making such a difference in helping people. Oh my goodness, I didn't think my little girl would ever be like this. Gosh, you're beautiful. Love you so Love much. you. I just want you to know how proud I am of you, Meg. Your mother and I both love you very much, and we're so proud of you. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that in your providence you have brought these two very special people together. We affirm this afternoon that the details of our lives are not a matter of chance or fate, part of your unfolding plan for humanity. And we affirm your goodness, that all of your wisdom and all of your power is committed to doing good to your people. May Joe and Meg find their greatest joy in you and display that joy in their love for one another. to take Meg to be your wife, to love her, to serve her, to comfort her, forsaking all others to keep yourself for her and her alone so long as you both shall live. I do. Meg, do you promise to take Joe to be your husband and to live together according to God's holy word, to love him, to honor him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others to keep yourself for him and him alone so long as you both shall live? I do. So what do you give in token and pledge of your faithfulness to fulfill your vows? The ring. 
Meg, I give you the ring. Joe, I give you this ring. As a token and pledge. As a token and pledge. Of my constant faithfulness. Of my constant faithfulness. And abiding love. And abiding love. And the sight of God in these witnesses. Beloved, Joe and Megan, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten of God and has knowledge of God. And may Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Joe Meg, by the authority vested in me, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife, and Joe, you may kiss your bride. Gentlemen, it is my great joy and privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Jednicka. Joe, although I've considered you family for a while now, I'm excited to officially call you my new brother. And Meg, thank you for being the best sister that a girl could ask for. Although I'm technically the older one, you're the one that I've always looked up to. Meg and Joe, be faithful, be true to who you are, continue to love each other unconditionally, and enjoy your happy ever after. To Meg and Joe. Today was about love and goodness. Today was about hope and faithfulness. Today was about two sweet souls that devoted their lives to each other in your name. And I just do not think it gets any better than that. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.